So let's look at a couple use cases for code build. The first one being generating out static pages from a JAM stack. JAM stands for JavaScript APIs and Markup. Uh, and so we have a website that was built with Gatsby. That's uh, a JAM stack application uh, that needs to render out static pages and deliver them to S3 static website hosting. So let's say we have our code or Gatsby code or a code commit uh, so we could trigger code build with the AWS console. Uh, code build is going to uh, pull from its source, its source build uh, being code commit. And then the build is going to uh, render out those static pages. And then it's going to output that artifact uh, into an S3 bucket. Uh, so those are ready for static website hosting. The next one is, let's say we want to run test code and report test coverage. This is probably the most uh, common use case for code build. So a developer needs to ensure their code passes all tests before being allowed to make a pull request. So, uh, you know, you, let's say you have a Ruby on Rails application um, and you've pushed some code to it to a feature branch. That's going to trigger a GitHub webhook um, that will trigger a Lambda function uh, that uses the SDK to then tell uh, code build to start building uh, on the source code. Um, and so the code build will pull down the Ruby on Rails project. Uh, and it's going to run RSpec, which will generate out uh, test coverage and also uh, say whether the test failed or not. And it's going to uh, take those reports, put it in a zip, uh, and then you could pass it on to another Lambda function. And then that information could get passed back to GitHub to uh, determine whether that pull request uh, should occur or not. Uh, so those are two use cases you could do.